this feels like, what the f is this? You know, like, this, this is crazy. Like, I didn't know footwork can feel that way. You know what I mean? After two years and a ton of daily trainers, I never expected that the simplest design would impress me the most. So before we get into it, I am an REI employee and these shoes were provided for review, but the opinions I'm expressing are based on my experience in the shoes. So this is the daily trainer from Atreyu, and I'm super excited because it gives us a chance to introduce co-op members and customers to Atreyu as a brand. The Atreyu daily trainer is coming in at 9.3 ounces per shoe. Cool thing about Atreyu footwear is that it's actually unisex. So you can see it's called out here right on the tongue. That's for a men's size nine and for a woman's 10 and a half. So Atreyu as a company has actually been around for a couple years, but they seemed a little bit more niche because they truly were just a direct-to-consumer footwear company. They're a running company that's really focusing on can you get no frill running shoes on the feet of everybody that's looking to engage in the activity of running. It might make you think of a band or a movie, maybe not footwear, but I'm really excited because now my point of reference for Atreyu is no frills, not overbuilt, everything you need and nothing you don't need right under my feet when I want a really comfortable ride on my run. We're really excited now, I'm really excited now because they've partnered with the co-op and to couple with that excitement, they've actually designed this shoe as a brand new shoe in their line. So super exciting that Atreyu is now available to lots more folks and REI is the only brick and mortar place you can actually try on Atreyu footwear. So I've put over 200 miles in the daily trainers and I really dig them. If we get a little bit deeper and we start to look at the shoe from top to bottom, the upper is my favorite part of the shoe. <laughs> it just is real cool, you know, and I do this thing a lot where I put my hand in footwear, obviously, and, you know, it just feels different. It's kind of hard to describe because if you look at the shoe, you're like, but it's mesh, the tongue kind of looks pretty familiar, the laces aren't anything that's like, whoa. But it just is really airy and you'll notice a lot of room in here. I think there's been a lot of recent conversations around like foot-shaped toe boxes, obviously, and more traditional silhouette toe boxes, maybe even some narrower toe boxes. This feels like it gives you a lot of room everywhere in the shoe, not just in the toe box. You just put your hand in there and you'll notice that it's like unencumbered. You can see that you can't see my fingers straight away. There is actually two layers of mesh down there, but it still feels pretty airy. It, it does keep it a little bit cleaner for your foot and your sock if you're running in those types of uh, environments where you can get a lot of dirt and grime in there. You can also see that there's a little bit of TPU overlay on the shoe. They're kind of similar colors, but it's just a little bit darker colors, adds to a little bit of that durability. The TPU overlays also enforce where the laces go through and the eyelets there, which is kind of nice. The thing that I like about these laces is just that they're long enough, you know, to tie them in whatever way you want to tie them in. I don't have to untie the whole shoe. That's cradle. But you can, yeah, you can, yeah, <laughs> do yo-yo tricks with these, with these laces. They're pretty long, uh, which is cool, and it gives you lots of options. Again, there's lots of eyelets, so you can kind of customize the fit there. The tongue is actually probably what I think is the most traditional part of this shoe. It just feels like, oh yeah, that's a running shoe tongue. It's got exactly that type of feel that almost feels kind of like a suede tongue, although it's synthetic. So because the Daily Trainer has such a minimalist design quality and aesthetic for the upper, there are things that like are not there. If you look at the tongue and how it's connected to the upper, there's really not a gusset that you would expect in, I would say, 99% of the footwear that's come out this year. There's also like not a lot of structure holding your foot in place. If you're looking to maybe sometimes vary your speeds on your run, you know, those kind of features can be really helpful in that way, right? Like they keep your foot secure in a different way. They don't allow you to kind of be moving around as much. I've come to really prefer this idea of just like, you know, it, it feels like I'm running so unencumbered, but that can translate to like, my foot's doing like, oh, this is rad, you know? And it's not just like, this is what we're doing. We're going fast or we're going straight or we're cornering or we're doing whatever. So if you're looking for a feel that kind of keeps you a little bit tighter in place, you're not really going to get that out of the fit for the shoe. The heel is actually probably the most built up part of the whole upper of the shoe. Even though there's a little bit of structure there, it is pretty squishy and you can get it down a little bit more. So not like a stiffer heel counter like you might find in some other footwear that has a little bit more structure to it. It does feel secure, but it feels still like it has some room in the heel. That being said, I did not have to use a runner's loop with it. So I feel like for me, this shoe just kind of fit right away. At least I just liked the way it fit right away. Something that I really enjoy in footwear is always these pull tabs, so it's kind of nice. A lot of road running shoes actually don't have them. They're mostly safe for trail running shoes now, but I like that they keep them on road running shoes. 
inside the shoe, you can see that there's a liner in there. Almost looks kind of like a wool liner. If you all are familiar with like Allbird liners, it kind of feels a little bit like that. Getting down to the midsole, like I said, they call out the offset on there. They also call out that it's neutral shoe, which is kind of nice. So there is not a difference in any part of the midsole there. It's got this super critical EVA, which sounds like somebody telling you like, yeah, it's the best. To me, it's just kind of like a pretty standard EVA feel on this shoe. It's got some carbon dioxide infused in there, so it kind of gives you a little bit of that airiness to it. It doesn't feel super heavy. It doesn't feel super responsive. It just kind of is like, yep, that's the shoe ride that I'm looking for, just consistency, just kind of middle of the road there, which is probably exactly what lots of folks want in a daily trainer. So if we get down to the outsole, this is where the shoe design, I think, probably looks the most interesting. It's pretty rad. You got this like really outstanding logo from Atreyu here that's really easy to kind of spot from lots of places. If you take your road running shoes like me into some city parks, you'll certainly leave that footprint behind, which is kind of rad to see. Another interesting thing about the outsole, again, is just the they have these lugs. They're not super deep lugs, but they do give you a little bit more traction. Like I said, I do like to take my road running shoes into city parks when it's really really rainy. I feel like I just want a little bit more confidence in my traction. It had snowed a few times in the city here and it was kind of nice with some of those sidewalks got a little icy or snowy to kind of have a little bit more traction. But it's not something that you traditionally find in road running outsoles. So it is kind of interesting to have a little bit more of that. It gives it a little bit more versatility. And like I said, most of my like longer runs or middle distance runs do kind of involve like some lightly packed trails. And I really appreciate that this shoe kind of just takes me everywhere I want to go. So folks can be super, super stoked to see some, uh, ah, <laughs> like I just ran into a wall. <laughs> So on my first run in the shoe, like the lower half of the shoe kind of felt familiar. Like, you know, it's EVA cushioning, it's outsole that I was kind of familiar with, but the true story was really the upper. It wasn't overbuilt in the slightest. It was almost like it was barely built, right? Like it just felt super airy, felt like there was nothing there. Almost honestly felt like the top half of my run was barefoot, which is a weird thing to feel like, because usually barefoot feeling comes from underneath. But yeah, it was, this design aesthetic was truly distilled down into footwear, and I don't know that I've ever been able to feel design aesthetics so viscerally like I did in the daily trainers from Atreyu. So at this point, I've probably put about 200, 210 miles on the daily trainers. Still love the upper. And the midsole, like I said, doesn't feel dead, but it actually doesn't feel like there's a ton of difference in feeling that kind of cushioning in the response. To be honest, because it just felt like, okay, cool. You know, and it still felt like that. It wasn't something that I started off with like, oh my God, this is the best midsole I've ever felt. I felt that way a lot about the upper. <laughs> and so the midsole just gave me that like really solid, consistent feeling. And it still has felt that way. It's felt maybe a little bit less cushioning, but honestly, shoes that I've worn for 200 miles have felt a lot different and a lot more degraded in their midsoles after this many miles than this shoe has felt. So I'm really excited about it. I'm pretty confident that I'll get like another 100 miles out of this shoe and still feel pretty similar. Like I said, the wrinkles are starting to show, but they're not even cracking the midsole really like some other midsoles have. So as far as durability goes, I'm pretty impressed so far. I and mean, I expect that like, yeah, I can get, like I said, at least another 100 miles out of the shoe. So I've been in lots of daily trainers for the past few years, and it's kind of interesting to pay attention to nuances between daily trainers, to think about fit, to think about like what the cushion feels like, what the ride is like. So when I put on another daily trainer, the Atreyu daily trainer that was literally just called the daily trainer, I was like, okay, probably pretty similar to something I've tried before. But it was almost like euphoric with that first feel in there when I put my foot in there. I just didn't feel like there was a lot there. That really simple design that like, you know, pared down upper just made me feel, especially as I started going out on my first run, like I was just running free, I was running unencumbered. And it made me think about like what I really valued out of a daily trainer. And what I really valued was just like getting out there and enjoying my runs, right? Even if I think about it from a training mindset, like you just want time on your feet. And how do you make time on your feet enjoyable? Like you just have fun with your running. And for me, this shoe really lets me have fun on my runs a lot which is why I put a lot of miles on it. So I'd recommend the Atreyu Daily Trainer to folks that are looking to kind of just have a shoe that they can put a ton of miles in and they can kind of reliably look for that same feeling from the midsole over and over again. 
For folks that are looking for a shoe that kind of is no frills, to be honest, maybe for folks that have been in lots of footwear and feel like the top of their foot is encumbered by a lot, I hear that sometimes where you're just like, I really like the shoe, but like this feels really weird on this side, or this feels like, you know, this is hitting my, giving me a pressure point on my foot. I'd recommend trying on a pair of these because there's not a lot of places where you'll feel pressure points in this shoe. As far as like what the ride is good for, again, it is built as a daily trainer. It's got that six millimeter offset. So it's just gonna give you like, it's really consistent, kind of natural feel for most of your runs. And if you're looking to do most of your runs in a way where you're not pushing pace, or in a way where you're not super concerned with recovery or cushion, I think this is a great option for you. So if I think about my experience in this shoe and the durability that the shoe has presented so far, I think this is like a really stellar option for a daily trainer. I mean, the price point on the shoe is only $110. Most daily trainers with that amount of durability and that amount of comfort and consistency of ride are gonna be at least somewhere like, you know, $50 above what the price point on this shoe is. And daily trainers usually for most runners are the shoes that you're replacing the most often, right? So you think about like the investment, the footwear rotation, things like that. Like this shoe just makes a lot of sense. I've been able to try, like I said, lots of different footwear. And to me, this has been the one that I've recommended a lot so far to folks that I know that are like dedicated runners and folks that I know that are just getting into running. It's a good like entry shoe and it's a good shoe that you can just put in rotation no matter where you are in your running journey. What daily trainer do you spend most of your time in? Is there a shoe that's made you fall in love with running all over again? Leave a comment below, I'd love to read them. I mean, you know, I also think it reminds me of that U2 song, still haven't found what I'm looking for, you know? <laughs> I was not looking for the perfect shoe and yeah. then one just showed up at my doorstep, literally. That yeah. doesn't help the person going to buy the shoe, you know what I mean? That's just, I love that's just my thing. <laughs>